say, well, now, you know, the thing about political satire is it has to have a point of view. Oh, I got that. I wrote a whole bunch of this stuff. It's funny, but it has to have a point of view. It has to say Makes a statement, because you don't know what's going on in this country. Right, you are. Central America is enough people. That ain't even in this country. Right. You Two income right. families living below the poverty line in America. SNL crisis. Okay, you got political material that covers all this. Yes, sir, everybody. With a point of view. Like North Saul with a B in his butt. Ow! Okay. Yikes, I gotta talk. Okay, well, let's see what... I'm, I'm agile. Uh, I guess so. Let's see. Rightly, Rick. Let's see some of this political. All right, folks, sit back. Political satire from Baytown, Texas. It's a nice halter, man. <laughs> Barbara Bush, there's a butt ugly woman, don't you think? <laughs> man, hey, when they said first lady, I didn't know they were talking about Eve. Ow, how old is this woman? Well, I'll tell you what, if you took her hair and pulled it back to her face straight down, I bet she looked just like Tammy Faye. <laughs> <laughs> Don't stop. It's arrogant, it's unattractive. Secondly, calling Barbara Bush up, that's not political satire. We mean she's the president's wife. That's just me. It that's speaks of his policy. It speaks it's a great deal about where he stands on. Look, I haven't seen that. She's not ugly. That's not the point. There you go. It's a white guy. He's wearing a polo shirt. Okay, let, <laughs> let me try it from this angle. If you're going to come out and call somebody else ugly, I think maybe it behooves us to make fun of ourselves first. Show the audience we can laugh at ourselves. That might give us carte blanche to then go on and make fun of other people. Does that seem fair? Oh, yeah, that does seem fair, and I'm a fair man. Okay. So make fun of ourselves. Make fun of ourselves is what we need to do. What are we going to say about you? <laughs> no, it's what we're going to say about you, Rick. Me? You. Oh, all right. Make fun of me, then, if you okay. must. I think the way you esteem. I think the way to go is uh, a lot of people, they look at you when you first hit the stage, the way you dress, your whole general demeanor, the way you talk. I think a riot broke out over there. Uh, Either that or Roseanne Barr is singing. <laughs> oh, they're doing that check thing. <laughs> yeah, your show goes great to the, hey, 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 you're not that fucking funny, buddy. <laughs> no, sir. <laughs> okay, here's the deal, Rick. Go ahead and pay it, buddy. It's a girl. Don't worry about it. She'll be impressed. Where you one of them wallets and hang around your cross? <laughs> That's where my manliness is, buddy. Look how big that wallet is. I got a curvature of the spine because I make so damn damn money here. You're going to play the part of a redneck. That's where we're going to make oh, it. Oh, like acting. You're going to be a redneck. No, no, not James Dean, Mickey Rowe again. You're going to be a redneck. All right, I'm a redneck. OK, now we need specific jokes, Rick. We need specific jokes. All right. Now, it strikes me a fertile area for your uh, humor might be your educational background. Oh, I don't want to talk about that. It's not funny. Well, OK. See, that gives me college. Did you go to college? Yeah, I did, as a matter of fact. OK. University of Houston at Baytown. <laughs> UHB. Yeah. Okay. It's a commuter campus. Okay. They keep driving it around. <laughs> it's in a trailer. Okay. You went to the University of Houston. What did you do there? Towed a car. <laughs> and a front wheel drive Mazda, I point out, which I got out of that little thin parking space without stripping the transaxle. Son of a bitch didn't even tip me. Ah, uh, you can't catch it. No. Very anal retentive with the money. Professor. Okay. No college. Did you graduate high school? Well, graduate? Cool, that's a tricky term. No, it isn't. Did they have one of those multi-meaning. No, one term. Did like, I, did I go up on stage? Did I go, thank you and damn the problem? Did I go, thank you, Mr. God's Council, for putting me in wood shop for three years? Oh, yeah, buddy. A lot of job opportunities waiting to embrace a man with some of that wood shop background. Big damn market for those pine jewelry boxes mom chucked out once a year. <laughs> no, I didn't graduate in that strict definition of the word, no. So you're a high school dropout? No, I did not drop out of high school. You did? I dropped out of seven. <laughs> See, that's going to be our first lap, Rick. You're going to come up on stage, you're going to say, a lot of people look at me, they assume I'm a high school dropout, but I'm not. I dropped out in seventh grade. Sure. And you think that's funny? I think it's fucking hysterical. I think that's... <laughs> I think it's mean. Well, see, you're going to be mean about Barbara Bush. You have to be mean about Barbara Bush. But I ain't but ugly like Barbara <laughs> <laughs> No, you're but uneducated out of here. Yeah. All right, I'll do your joke. Just get on my back. OK. All right. You know a lot of people look at me and think I dropped out of high school, but I didn't. I dropped out of seventh grade. OK, I know what went wrong, Rick. Yeah, I know what went wrong. That joke sucked. No, what went wrong. You didn't pause. Is that a dumb joke or what? Well, you didn't pause 
It's a good joke. You didn't pause between the setup and the punchline. It needs a pause. The timing was bad. The timing? Like in a car? No. Well, no. like top dead center. We weren't at top dead center. You got a blonde hair in that joke somewhere. <laughs> you got a whole wig in there. Man. Next thing you know, your valves start knocking. Then you got to do a valve job. But that tail's yanking off the valve cover, aligning the valves up with a pinion, and you got to pull that pause between the setup and the punch. All right, I'll pause. I'm going to pause. You know what the setup is? Yes, I do. I'm informed. Okay. I'm going to pause, folks. Don't get scared. Just, just pause. You know, a lot of people look at me and think I dropped that of high school, but I didn't. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Rick, you want to do the damn punch? I'm working my pause. I dropped out of seventh grade. You paused too long, Rick. You're at eight. There just ain't no help in that joke. Shorter pause. Shorter pause. So try to Shorter pause. You know, a lot of people look at me and think I dropped out of high school, but I didn't. Of course, I didn't have a goddamn choice in the matter. Somebody laid my daddy off at the factory he was working at. Probably somebody in your family tapped it into a pension fund that they didn't need to get a hold of. Next thing I'm 13 years old. I'm out on a goddamn street. Don't hide from the truth, buddy. It'll follow you on that wall. It's behind the curtain. This is the reality talking. I dropped out of seventh grade. <laughs> Oh, I got more material. Okay. I got a bunch of that. You got material I can do? Yeah, I got that you ever notice material. Observational humor. Now, is this going to include me? Because I don't have a whole lot to do there in the observation. I got a script for you. And this is going to start a, a, a team interaction going. Dialogue. Okay. You read your lines, I respond. I'm saying I didn't have a whole hell of a lot to do. Well, that's just the opening line. Then you come in with the meat of the act. And you're really the star the way I got this set up. Right. So we, Rick, what's new? Do you ever notice every time you dial 911, you never get a cop? That's because 911 is not the number for Dunkin' Donuts. Woohoo, <laughs> buddy! <laughs> Tell you what, buying at a donut shop without a cop's like finding the convenience store without a Vietnamese behind the counter. Woohoo, <laughs> buddy! <laughs> Boy, my wife is fat. <laughs> she's so fat, we got to listen to Farm Report every morning just to find out how much she's worth a pound. Woohoo, <laughs> She retains water during PMS. Cheeky, cheeky. You know what? Something like my off for women during PMS. How come they don't want something for men, like a bus ticket to another town? <laughs> Dan Quayle, hey, there's a brain surgeon, huh? <laughs> it's too bad he's not a plastic surgeon. He could work on Barbara Bush. <laughs> Rick, Rick, how are you doing? I had a foot cramp. <laughs> you gotta walk it off. First of all, you were strutting. Secondly, you didn't give me anything to do. One goddamn line, and you go off. What do you mean one line? There's more. You forgot page two. There it is. Read the rest of your script. What else is new, Rick? Hey, now that Jim Baker's in jail, oh, Terry Ray's out Rick, on the loose. Rick, Rick, you're not giving me the word. What are you just doing cliche material? What do you mean I wrote all that? You know, every hot comic in the world talks about cops and donut shops and Vietnamese and convenience stores. You don't even have a wife, let alone a fat one. I'll throw that up in my face. <laughs> you get every she let me put a guy with money and drugs. Except for the ultimate cliche, of course, the, the, the ubiquitous Jack Nicholson impression. Oh, you know what your problem is, yeah, Andy. As a matter of fact, you got a bad fucking attitude. <laughs> I'll have a turkey sandwich, hold the turkey, hold the mayonnaise, hold the lettuce between your legs. <laughs> you can be a lot better than holding butt balls. I can't pull my hair back like I was going bald. I was in the last detail for a second there. You did not like Randy Quaid for a second. Okay. Look, Rick, I've just made an executive. You seem to tend towards the hackneyed and the stale of the Thank stuff. you. America needs that. Okay. And, and when you write material, what, we need to bring spontaneity. Okay. Yeah. No, I can be spontaneous. I think we're going to do that by bringing, uh, talking to the crowd. Oh, that's a great idea. We're going to talk to the crowd. I'm known as a wit in Baytown. Well, that's a uh, real tough competition, but be that as it may, well, Rick, that'll bring spontaneity okay. into it, because you, you, you tend to be a little happy. No, you? I agree with you. Let, let's challenge our intellects and our Okay, let's talk wit. to the crowd. You All think right. you can do that? Uh, let's go talk to him, buddy. I'm okay. with you. Okay. How you doing, baby? You come here a lot. Can you lose these friends of you? We go out to You ever heard of King Ho? Rick, 
movies. I go to the movies, I get some of that corn and broccoli. Hey, you're talking to the crowd here, Randy. Hey, you're trying to get away. That's not the same. Hey, hey, what did I say? I said movies to you. But movies, like I'm going to meet a family. Yes, I can't take Look, Rick, let's talk to guys so it's not on a sexual basis. Well, let's hope it's not. <laughs> Don't get us arrested. All right. I'm well, sorry. I meant nothing sexual. I just meant dinner. Just and to it. Look, gentleman's name's Mike. Hey, Mike, how you doing, buddy? Where are you from, Mike? Hopper's Cove. Hopper's Cove. Hopper's Cove? Hopper's. But you're the kind of guy that gets out of the shower to take a piss. <laughs> Sing him, buddy! I got a whole backlog of comebacks for hecklers. Stand there and be quiet for a second. You know why I suggested we talk to the crowd? Because we're bring, funny. No, to bring spontaneity into it, what do you do? Not only do you do a stop line, but it made no goddamn sense at all. What do you mean it made no sense? Me asked He's from Hopper's Cove. Hop. Good luck. Hop shadow. We asked the man, we asked the man where he's from. He tells us you make some remark about his urinary habit. <laughs> if you're going to do a stop line, at least put it in its proper context, for Christ's sake. Pardon me, Mr. Left Brain. All right, but there's still a... You take showers. <laughs> yeah, I bet you the kind of guy gets out of those showers to take a piss. <laughs> It's impact, but it's still a stop line. Stop lines are no good. Oh, yeah, stop lines are great, buddy. No good. Watch this. Watch. I got a whole bunch of them. Watch how they work. Where are you from? Hopper's Cove? That's a, your tractor parked outside there, buddy. <laughs> buddy. Where are you from? Hopper's Cove? Living proof the Indians are made with buffalo. <laughs> buddy. Where are you from? Hopper's Cove? That's what happened when the fetus don't get enough oxygen. <laughs> Where are you from? Hopper's Cove? Let me make you feel at home. <laughs> Just to get this man a drink. Where are you from, Rick? Baytown, Texas. That's what happens when first cousins marry.